Parshus, uh, the Rosh Hashiva. The Mishnah tells us in Pirkei Avos that the world stands on three things. Ala Torah, Avoda, and Gemilas Chasadim. Torah, the simple level, learning Torah. Avoda, either the Korbanos, or nowadays the Tefillah, the prayer that we have to Hashem. And Gemilas Chasadim, acts of kindness to others. The Maral and the Vilna Gaon tell us that it represents another layer. Torah represents Ben Adam La'atzmo, our development, developing our core, our core belief, our value system, our inner Kedusha, who we are deep in our soul, working on ourselves and connecting to it. Avoda represents Ben Adam Lamakom, our relationship with Hashem, our Amuna, our Bitachon. And Gemilas Chasadim represents Beit Adam Lechavero, our relationship with others. So the three pillars that hold up the world are about our relationship with ourself, with Hashem, and with others. The Vilna Gon continues and he says, just like there are three pillars that hold up the world in Kedusha, in its holiness, there's a counter realm, a plane on the side of evil, on the side of Tumah that destroy the world. And that is, Torah corresponds to Gili Arayos, illicit relationships, when things are hefker, it's all over the place, totally ruins us in our core. Avodah Zara, idol worship, corresponds to the Avodah, to our belief in Hashem, to our relationship with Hashem, worshiping other gods, other values, and Shvich Dabim, murder, Corresponds to Gemilas Chasadim. Instead of helping people, reaching out to people, connecting with other people, destroying other people. And when we encounter evil in its greatest level, when we see the rape, we see people doing things in the name of God, and we see destruction and murder, those three pillars on the anti, on the destructive side, on the tumma, on the evil, we have to balance it and fight it on the side of the Kedusha, on the Torah, on the Avoda, and the Gemilas Chasadim. And we have to make sure that every single one of us, at every single point of our day and of our lives, especially now, when the other side seems so strong and seems so destructive, what are we doing on the three sides to uphold the world and to keep the world going and to enhance the world and the Kedusha in the world? What is our Torah really like? How are we working on ourselves and attaching to the values that we know are true and acting based on them? What is our tefillah like? Is our tefillah the same way it was a few days ago, a week ago? Or is that a whole different level? Is our connection to Hashem, our appreciation of Hashem, our gratitude to Hashem, our understanding of Hashem, despite if it's difficult, what is the relationship about? How is that? And how strong is our gemilas chasadim? How strong is our love for every other Jew? How strong is our action? What are we trying to do for other people, helping other people, even helping our own roommate, our people next to us? Every single one of those three areas needs to be enhanced at the greatest level. So obviously we're coming together now today here to try to have an intensified tefillah and a more focused tefillah, focusing on our voda, and it's something that Everyone has to be doing. Someone that sleeps late these days and, and sleeps in, or whatever, how could that be? It should be early. It should be earlier with Zrizos, with more alacrity and a push to dive in longer and dive in earlier, dive with more Kavana. And we're going to set up different WhatsApp groups to help us all do this. We're going to have a Mishmar and the army of Mishmar, the people that are keeping watch through the night. There's no stop. You never know, stop looking, never stop patrolling. We're also gonna start a mishmar in our yeshiva, and every single person is gonna sign up to at least an hour a day, it's gonna go throughout the night, when we're all learning 24 seven to be our mishmar. We're gonna enhance our Torah learning. We're gonna enhance our tefillah. We're gonna be davening for other people. We're gonna send lists around. Every single person must sign up to daven for a specific person, a chayal, a captive, someone that's sick, 
that we should enhance the tefillah in a very, very real way. And thirdly, in the Gemilas Chasadim, besides for enhancing the unity amongst the B'nai Yeshiva, which believe it or not, sometimes is the hardest, it is not as fun, and it can't be public, so it sometimes is the most difficult, and maybe sometimes even the most important, but we also are gonna start a lot of initiatives. We're gonna visit, unfortunately, people who are sitting Shiva, who don't have people to visit them, and to start packing packages for the people that need the food. We're gonna to start to make carnivals for some of the families that their father is not around right now and they need chizok and they need some simcha in their lives. Every single person has to sign up for one of those activities. We will give all the options out there as much as possible. And anyone that has new ones, please send it to us. But every single person has to be a kabel on themselves. We have to accept on ourselves to strengthen in all of those three levels to counter and to fight in an extreme heavy way against the other three forces that are so prevalent right now. Be'ez Hashem, through all of our hard work, all of our tefillah, and all the tefillah of all Klai Yisrael, we're going to see Yeshuos, we're going to see the salvation. Meher v'yamenu. Amen.